Invisible Boy by Barbara Bartholomew Art by Mary Kernick Mass Paul walks slowly toward the big building ahead. He isn't in a hurry to get to his new school. Boys and girls hurry past. Backpacks are on their backs. Hi, Nicholas. Hi, Elizabeth. Hello, Maya. He hears them call to one another. He wants to be back in his old school with his friends. His family is new to this big city. Paul feels lonely among the students walking and running along the sidewalk. Among so many strangers, he feels invisible. He feels nobody can see him. He goes through the wide door with a crowd of students. He listens to the chatter around him. One boy tells about his winter vacation skiing in the mountains. A girl tells about her vacation with her grandparents on their farm. Paul wants to tell about his family moving here. He finds the way to his classroom. The teacher is standing by the door. Welcome, Paul, the teacher says, smiling. So he isn't invisible. His teacher can see him. The teacher shows him to his desk. Paul quickly learns the names of the students around him. Mike sits at the desk just ahead. Louis sits beside him. Behind him is a new girl named Amy. He sees that Amy is also a new student because the teacher shows her to her desk, too. Now that he has his own desk, Paul begins to feel a little better. When the teacher asks him to read aloud, Paul hopes Mike or Louise will say, Wow, you're such a good reader. But nobody says anything. At lunch, Paul sits at a table with other students. No one speaks to him. He still feels invisible. On the playground, Louie and Mike start choosing players for a game of kickball. Paul wants to play, but no one asks him to join. Paul sees Amy across the playground sitting by herself. He knows how she feels. He runs across to her. Hi, I'm Paul, he says. I'm new here, too. Do you like to play kickball? She nods. Want to go over and play with the others? Amy nods again and smiles. They run together toward the group. May we play? Amy asks. Louise looks at them. Sure. They are in the game. Amy on one side and Paul on the other. She smiles happily at Paul. Paul smiles back. He has one new friend. He isn't invisible anymore.